Hello my friend, how's it going? My name is Alex and I'm the owner of Morris Ceramics where our brand is to remind people to hit pause, practice some self-care and improve their overall well-being. So as you can see from this title, today, or actually this whole week, I read for one hour each day and I'm gonna talk about what happened. And yeah, you might ask like, why did I pick this topic? Well, of course, you know that I'm all about self-care and I've done a lot of physical self-care things as far as hair and nails and skin, um, but I, I think I'm ready to move on now to mental self-care. And one of the big things that I think helps mental self-care is definitely reading. And so I thought, why don't I read for an hour every day and see what happens? Okay, we're just gonna take a look at each day right now Take a look at that and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a whole recap of everything. Hello friends, I am kind of tired. So I'm in my cozy attire and just like in my bed. And today is day one for reading for an hour. I am reading Jane Eyre. I'm actually at the moment I'm feeling a little bit tired. So I don't know how reading for an hour is gonna make me feel, but I'll let you know when I'm finished. Okay, so now I've finished and honestly, I don't feel as tired anymore. I have a little bit more energy. I'm at the end of chapter 11. So yeah, I really enjoyed my little hour session. Hello everyone, it is day two of my reading challenge for reading for one hour and I'm really tired, but we're still gonna do it because a promise is a promise. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> Okay, so my hour is finished. I read 29 pages and I was actually not so tired after I started reading. Hello, the book is getting, you know, still super good. And I did read 29 pages, the same as last time. And yes, I am wearing the same clothes as yesterday because that's just the way I roll. It's Sunday. Hello, it is Monday evening, so it's day five of my reading for an hour. I got interrupted for like quite a few times. And so basically I just stopped the timer and I just read until I wanted to stop reading. So I read for over an hour yesterday just for fun and it was Sunday, so I didn't have any plans. So I'm like, I might as well just read this book cause I'm pretty into it. And yeah, let me show you where I'm at now. Can you see? And these two little pimples are really bothering me. I never get zits, hardly ever, and I don't know what these two are. I heard that if it's on the chin, I almost said cheeks, if it's on the chin, it's hormonal, so I don't know what's going on. But anyways, all right, I'm gonna read for an hour and let you know how I feel. Hi, it's 11.30 at night. I almost forgot to do my reading, but I'm not gonna forget. I am wearing the same pajamas. They're not the same clothes. I just, they're just pajamas, okay? I don't want you to think I wear the same clothes all, all week long. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm actually not very tired, so I'm gonna read and I hope that it's gonna make me more tired and want to fall asleep. And I don't know, I can't promise that I'm gonna read for an hour, so we'll just see. Okay. Okay, so I just finished reading. It was a little under an hour. It wasn't exactly an hour, but it's fine. I'm so in love with this book. <laughs> it just got so good. It's like midnight, so I'm gonna go to bed. And thank you guys so much for just like going through this experience with me. Hello, it is Wednesday night now, and I think it's around like 10, 30, 11. I'm pretty tired, but I'm just gonna read a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna read for an hour. It's kind of late and I'm tired. Um, it was late today because we just got a bunch of stuff from our factory, and that means I had to take a lot of pictures and do a lot of um, editing on Photoshop. So I did that basically um, starting at like three or four o'clock and ending till about just now, like 10, 30. So, yeah, it's been a long day. But anyways, I'm gonna hit pause, give myself some me time, and read my bookie. Okay, I just finished chapter 24. I'm on 25 now, and I'm gonna call it a night. I'm tired, but I feel really good. I'm feeling more relaxed in the evenings and ready for bed. All right, good night. Okay, just kidding. I couldn't help myself, and I read another chapter. Okay, good night now. It's like past midnight. So now that I'm back with my makeup on and everything, it was so funny, like every time I did my videos with you guys while I was reading, it was 
after the shower, makeup off, just pajamas on. And so now I'm here with actually a little bit of makeup on and it feels good. Okay, so as you can see, like that very last day, I didn't even realize it was my last day. And honestly, I don't think it is going to be my last day. If I were to choose that versus watching Netflix at night, I think I would choose to finish this book because it is just that good. And it's really nice just to unwind. Cause I think sometimes when I watch Netflix, I mean, I do also unwind, but this book just makes me feel good. <laughs> and there's a lot of other books out there too, of course. But yeah, that, that very last day, um, I didn't realize it was my last day and I actually didn't even want to stop. Like after my one chapter was up, I'm like, oh, I, I wasn't quite ready to fall asleep. So instead of scrolling on my phone, I just continued to read. And it just reminded me of when I was little, back before the days that we had cell phones. I didn't get my cell phone until I was like 16, maybe 15, driving age. But yeah, it just reminded me of when I was younger before I had a cell phone or anything to scroll on and I didn't have a TV in my room. And so before I'd go to bed, I would just read. And I do other reading in the morning, like more personal reading. I like to read the Bible a little bit in the morning. So this was different than that. This was just a, a fictional book purely for entertainment and recreation. And so instead of watching TV, I think this was a really, really nice just a really nice thing to do. Okay, so I'm gonna stop babbling. I'm gonna talk about a few things that actually happened to me. Number one, this one is really silly, but I found myself thinking about this book a lot and I even found myself talking to myself in this England accent and in the way that they speak throughout the day. And so just like, you know, I wouldn't say it out loud. It was all in my head, but it was just like, it told, this book totally changed the way I talked to myself in my head. And now I sound like a psycho person, but I know we all do it. We just think, oh, should I go to the store today? Or should I do this, blah, blah, blah. Like it was all in a, in an English accent, just like it would be in the book. So that was kind of funny. Number two was, I don't think I watched any TV this last week besides last night when Jerry and I wanted to wind down together. We watched a little bit of um, TV on my iPad together. But besides that, like I did not really watch any TV the whole week. And so that was really interesting. I didn't even miss it. I was really into the story. Like if you have never read this book, Jane Eyre, you have to read it. It's so good and it's so like humorous and it also has like a love story in there. It has a little bit of suspense and um, mystery in there, which was really surprising. I didn't think it would have that. And it's just, it's heart touching and you just feel yourself in this book with our dear Jane. She's just so dear to my heart. It's like, she's a good friend of mine now. And I love the way that she describes people. I think the way she describes and looks at everyone, it's just hilarious. Okay, the third thing that happened to me was I really enjoyed my evening routine. I had my extra time at night to do a little reading instead of like, you know, other winding down things. And I really started enjoying my evening routine. So I would take a shower, put on my essential oils, maybe put a face mask on and lotion up and then get into bed and maybe dim the lights a little bit and read. And it was so just relaxing and it was so nice just to get ready for bed. Um, typically, I'm not a huge fan of getting ready for bed because I'm not tired at night. This helped me with my evening routine and made me really look forward to it. There is one negative thing that happened to me. Um, I realized I wasn't spending much time with my husband, Jerry. We do work together and so we basically like spend all of our day together. But as far as like recreational things, usually we might take a little walk together or uh, we might watch some TV together. And since I've been reading, I just kind of closed myself in this little box and read. So I mean, it, there's good and bad. I think it's really good to spend time with yourself. But at the same time, I don't want to close out my husband from like 
my life. Like I did find that he often, when I was reading, he would interrupt my reading because he'd want to talk to me. And so just like, you know, being patient and everything, I didn't seem irritated when he would talk to me. I don't think, I hope not. But yeah, that was one thing, just kind of like closing myself out from him, which can be good or bad. I think, you know, there's balance. You have to be balanced in everything. So I think an hour a day is fine to just kind of close yourself out from your husband. So I guess it's not really negative. But yeah, that is one thing I noticed. Okay, lastly, the very last thing that this did to me was made me want to continue reading. Like, and then I can't wait to get more books. Maybe go to the library and just keep on reading. I want to be able to, maybe not always an hour a day because sometimes that was a little too much, especially at the end of the day if I did a lot of work that day and I'm tired. But yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna keep this in my daily routine and just kind of use it to wind down and instead of watching TV all the time. And I definitely think like with my writing, cause I do write on a blog and on our website, moreceramics.com. I definitely think this is going to influence the way I write sometimes. Maybe in my blog post, I might start to get a little bit more formal because this book influenced me. But yeah, that's about it. We will be talking about our move more next week, so stay tuned. And yeah, that's all for now. I hope that this encouraged you to do a little bit of reading yourself. I know for me, I was like, I go through streaks, like I read a lot and then I don't read a lot. And then like I read a lot. So maybe you're like me, but I hope this encouraged you to pick up a book, get into it and relax and read and maybe spend your Sunday just like, you know, reading more than an hour just that's what I did on Sunday. I read for more than an hour just because it was just so nice and relaxing. So I hope this inspired you to pick up a book and relax. And I love you guys all so much. Let me know if you have any questions or anything in the comments. Let me actually, you know what? Let me know what book you're reading currently in the comments below because I need some inspiration on some new books. So yes, I love you all. Don't forget to hit pause. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.